Hi, welcome. Although we've come a long way in recent years with regard to menopause, there is still an unbelievable amount of disinformation, lack of education, and dismissiveness, which is affecting quality of life for many middle-aged women. In this video, I'd like to speak on those issues and the frustrations that accompany them. This topic is very important to me as a menopausal woman, as someone who listens to the stories of other women daily, and as someone who is trying my very best to normalize menopause through my content. Menopause has been hidden in the shadows for decades. I don't remember any of the women in my life ever talking about it. And people still look at me like I'm nutty to this day every time I mention menopausal issues. This has to change. Menopausal women matter. Menopause symptoms are very real and we all deserve to be heard and offered quality targeted medical care. So let's talk about it. When I was in my 30s, I knew that your period stopped when you grew older and that it was called menopause. But I had no idea perimenopause was even a thing until it slapped me hard in the face in my 40s and left me convinced for a good couple of years that I was suffering with a serious medical condition that was being missed. It started with a frozen shoulder, then joint pain, then heart flutters, then dizziness, then bloating that was so severe I looked seven months pregnant, then paresthesia, and the list goes on and on to ridiculousness. I had myself checked for autoimmune conditions. I had numerous heart tests, scans, blood work, and neurological exams, and no one could tell me what was going on. I knew that nobody could have a list of symptoms and be perfectly fine. And the doctors were obviously not going to enlighten me, which left me to research all of this on my own. Let me tell you that diving thigh deep into Google and research papers was not a very smart idea when you're already suffering from health anxiety, but I was determined. My age and my symptoms always brought me back to perimenopause and a list of very serious diseases thanks to Dr. Google, but I chose to focus on perimenopause. I learned so much. I'm still learning to this day. And let me tell you, I could not believe my eyes. If anybody had told me back then that there was a hundred possible symptoms associated with shifting hormones and that they could go on for 10 years before menopause, I never would have believed them. And I would have looked at the person telling me these things like they were a few sandwiches short of a picnic. How in the world was this even a thing? And how did I go 40 plus years without knowing this? Long story short, I charged back into my doctor's office armed with this golden knowledge and confident that I would be diagnosed with perimenopause and that he would do all of the right things and give me all of the right answers and solutions. That's not what transpired. I was shocked to discover that he had absolutely no idea what I was talking about. He went on to tell me that menopause starts in your 50s and that it involves the cessation of your periods and that he could run blood tests, but it would probably be a waste of his time because I did not fit into either one of those categories. To say that I felt crushed and defeated is an understatement. And I was absolutely stunned that a medical professional did not know all of the information on perimenopause that I had just acquired. As time went on, I discovered that most doctors didn't have extensive knowledge in menopause and that it wasn't even an area of focus in med school. Things are slowly changing and we are seeing some menopause specialists pop up here and there, but for the most part, doctors are dismissive because they just simply don't have the information and they're not aware. Sad and shocking, but true. And it's a great source of anxiety and frustration for many women. I'm sure many of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Having serious concerns about what is going on with your body and mind and having those concerns brushed aside or made light of. Walking out of your appointment upset and afraid and repeating the cycle with doctor after doctor with no answers aside from maybe it's anxiety and feeling helpless and hopeless. Also the anger that arises when you do all of the work yourself and bring the information into your appointment to have the doctor set it down on the counter, 90% on red, and tell you things like you're too young, menopause doesn't cause those things, and your hormones are fine. I was recently told when I went to a doctor's appointment with joint pain 
that menopause doesn't cause pain. True story. I just shook my head and walked out. I really want to acknowledge all of the medical professionals out there who have taken the initiative to specialize in menopause care and are really making a difference for a lot of women. You are truly a blessing to all of those ladies in your care. And to all of you who have been fortunate enough to find a fantastic doctor, I am so happy that you are getting quality care. And I'm a bit envious. Female midlife health care is still so archaic in so many ways. And it's time for a change. We all deserve it. We deserve to have a voice, to have the topic of menopause be made as mainstream as puberty, to have the younger generations of women fully prepared for this change of life before they reach middle age, and to have medical professionals fully trained in all stages of menopause so that middle-aged women have access to the specialized care that they deserve. My life would be so much easier and less stressful and scary if I had a specialized doctor dedicated to help me deal with menopause. And it would have saved me years of living in fear in perimenopause when I had absolutely no idea what was happening to me. We need to keep sharing our stories and experiences until menopause becomes an everyday topic of discussion and no longer tucked away in the shadows. There are more and more menopause content creators out there spreading the word and more and more menopause specialists setting up shop. So things are slowly changing and I have hope for the future. Until then, I do have a menopause support group for any of you that are interested in connecting with other perimenopausal and postmenopausal women. The link to that group is in the description beneath this video. I wish you all health, happiness, and peace of body and mind, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.